What's going on, YouTubers? Jurassic Ninja. Today, I just wanted to show this dope-ass website I found. Uh, it's a tutorial on how to add all your ROMs or ISOs, whatever you want for your, your emulation, onto Steam. And what's cool about it, it's, it's not just adding the game and then you click play and it loads up like Project 64 and then you got to go load the game again or click on a PlayStation game and it loads the E... PSXE program, it bypasses that program and all those programs entirely and just straight up launches the game. You do the one time setup using this Steam ROM manager program, which I found, and it's super easy to use. It's super cool. You want to download the portable one. I'll show you on the website here. You, you click the get latest release and then download the one that says portable. This one that says setup on the EXE, my computer detected as a virus, and I'm sure it's not, but the portable one wasn't detected like that, and it works great, so that's what I'm using. It also looks identical to the walkthrough they're giving us here. I'm not going to go through how to set it up because it's right here on this website, which I will leave in the description below, and it's super easy. And this one is showing you how to add PlayStation 2 games, which is what I'm going to talk about. I've been lately... Uh, adding all of my PlayStation 2 library to my computer because I'm going to then add all of those games to my PlayStation 2. That way I can just play them uh, without having to put discs in and stuff like that. But I also like to play the PlayStation 2 games on my computer with like enhanced graphic mods or any game that just looks better because I love playing better graphics on uh, PlayStation 2 games on my computer, which is really sweet. But anyways, we're gonna go to Steam now and show you what I've been working on. So I've been making these dope ass banners because I don't like the banners that that program supplies. They don't, um, they don't match, like, you know, they don't look like part of a series or a collection. So I, I added this PlayStation 2 sidebar and it's not just as simple as cutting and pasting anything because the, the, the boxes for PlayStation 2 are never set up for this. Like the titles are up here and way down below. So there's a lot of work involved, but I just love the way this freaking looks. It looks so cool. And so like if I want to play Batman, I just click play and then boom, it launches. Like you don't need to, to do the, the program. You don't need to click play. It just launches and then I'm in the Steam community it's super cool. Now, it's, I'm sorry. I'm just really ex excited about that. It, it's so cool. I'm super happy about this. I'm, I'm, I'm making the banners. I want to show you guys, actually. I'm going to make a couple banners to show you kind of how I do it. So let's go ahead and look at my game list here that I, I haven't got tons to. So I need to do... Boom. Bujingay. Bujingay. The for, the for, I was about to say something. To, the Forsaken City. So we need to do Benjingay, Benjingay, probably Benjingay. I'm I'm expecting hate comments from however I pronounce that wrong. But let's go to Benjingay, Benjingay. So we're gonna go to Bujin guy the forsaken city a lot of times it comes up already. So when you go into Google, you're gonna click on images. You want to click on tools next. You want to go to size larger than two megapixels if you can, because you want the highest quality you possibly can get. Luckily for us, actually, this one looks like it might be a pain in the ass because this is one, this is one weird ass cover. It's like, ugh. good thing is ours is going to look dope because we're not going to have that half black part up there like this one does. It's like lazily tacked on there. So let me go here and paste this cover in, and we're going to bring it on over here bring this up and that's gonna be our cover that's actually gonna look really dope but we need to get the logo there now which that becomes the hard part and this is what happens almost on every single one because the titles are always too high or too low to fit into this box so you always got to cut them out if it's a popular game someone had will have already cut the logo out you could just go on to google and let's see if we get lucky i don't think this is a popular game what I like to do at that point is I'll go any size and then I'll click logo and see if we get one and we don't. We're going to go back in here. I made a duplicate copy and we're going to drag it down. We're going to shrink it because we don't need it to be that big. And uh, well, if I have to cut it out, we're just going to speed this up.
And then we're going to add some contrast and to this one, a little brightness there, a little brightness, a little darkening to get those blacks out. It makes that more bold. And then we're going to save it. Boom. Now let's do another one. Maybe one that's more exciting. Let's see. Bully. Well, that should be an easy one. So sometimes when you come across these ones, they get real easy because the game's already on Steam. So what I'll do is I'll type in bully Steam Grid Icon. And then you get it. Scholarship Edition. I don't think mine's a Scholarship Edition bully, but who really gives a crap? So we're going to copy that image, bring it in here. It is small. There's probably a bigger one, but I'm just going to do this real quick. Let's see if there's a better quality one real quick because that is small. So we're going to go tools. We're just going to go large on this one because a lot of Steam icons, they're they're really small. I, I like to do them bigger. We'll just uh, keep it at that. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to denoise it with my uh, filters here. Where's the denoise? we got this Topaz filter set. It works really cool, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go overall strings. We're just going to go, let's see. Uh, da, da, bring it going. Keep it going. Because the thing is, it's going to make it look kind of not sharp or anything. But when it's when it's on Steam, you know, that big, it doesn't matter. It looks good still. And like right there to me, that looks good enough because it's not going to even be this big on Steam. It's going to be like that big, you know, and that looks perfectly fine. Let me see here. We're going to bring out some contrasting here. Okay. And then maybe pop out some more of these colors a little bit. Perfect. That one's done. See, sometimes they're really quick. I would prefer a higher quality and I'm sure I can do it. But it's really not that big a deal because, like I said, you're not even going to notice it. For I'll show you right now. In case you don't even know how to add uh, images to Steam, this program will add a lot of this. The program will add a lot of these ones in here that I don't like, right? That's why I was making my own. So you have to remove those ones first. So remove custom image, and then we're going to set custom image. And we're going to bring in Bungaji, Buga Buga. Where is it at? There it is. We're bringing that one in, set. Now we're going to bring in Bully also. There's Bully. See? And you don't really even notice the, the lack of quality there. So, I mean, this is going to look really good. But I can't wait to get these burnouts done, too. That's going to be sick. Anyway, guys, it's just... My video, I'm going to have a link in the description for all the ones I have done so far. If you want to make some of your own, you can. You don't really need a template because you just need to save one of my images and just cut out that sidebar. If you want to share them with me, feel free. Send me a link to your gallery. Maybe I'll use some of yours and show them in, an, in a video if they're done good enough. I'm a little bit picky about title placement and proportions and you know, stupid things like that. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you add some of these games to Steam, like on Super Nintendo, PlayStation 2, PS1. Because I'm going to do PS1 after I'm done with PS2. It's going to be dope. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.